Hello District 25 community and welcome to our video that will walk you through the different quarantine options for the 2021-2022 school year. There are four options with details for each, so let's get started. These four options will be available once the district implements its SHIELD testing program. More information on the SHIELD testing program can be found on our website or by visiting www.sd25.org slash shield testing. Before we get into the different quarantine options, let's review the close contact process. The first thing that will happen is your child will be identified as a close contact. Just to review, generally a close contact in a classroom setting is defined as a masked individual within three feet of a probable or positive case or an unmasked individual within six feet of a probable or positive case. Outside of the classroom setting, a close contact is defined as a masked or unmasked individual within six feet of a positive or probable case. Visit www.sd25.org slash COVID-19 QA to read more about close contacts. After your child is identified as a close contact, you will be notified by the school either the nurse or the school administration. And this notification will come in the form of an email and will detail the four different quarantine options and will ask you to respond with which option you would prefer your child to participate in. Okay, so after you've decided on which quarantine option you want your child to participate in, the last step is to just let your school nurse know which option you picked. The nurse will follow up with a quarantine letter detailing your child's quarantine dates and the link to the Quarantine Academy, should that be necessary. Okay, now let's dive into District 25's four quarantine options. There are four options for a close context quarantine. Option one, your child would quarantine for 14 days at home. Option two, your child would quarantine for 10 days with an option to come back to school on day 11 if they are symptom free. Option three, your child would quarantine for seven days with an option to come back on day eight with a negative COVID-19 test. Option four, your child would test to stay in school, not needing to quarantine. And we will dive into the details of that option later. Option one, the 14 day quarantine at home, what we consider our gold standard of quarantine. If you choose this option, your child will quarantine at home for 14 calendar days. Please note that the date of the last exposure is considered day zero of quarantine. You will receive an email that details your child's specific quarantine dates, and you will receive an email with a Quarantine Academy link and instructions. Option two, a 10 day quarantine with a return on day 11 if the child has been and remains symptom free. If you choose this option, your child will quarantine for at least 10 days and will be able to return on day 11 if they are experiencing no COVID-19 symptoms during the quarantine. Once returning to school, the child must remain symptom-free through day 14. The individual must also maintain physical distancing and masking at all times. For classrooms where masking is strictly adhered to, as required, physical distance of three to six feet is acceptable for return. Option three, a seven day quarantine with a return on day eight after presenting a negative COVID-19 test. If you choose this option, your child can return to school after seven calendar days of quarantine. If one, they remain symptom free during the seven day quarantine and two, if they take a laboratory based PCR COVID-19 test on day six or later of quarantine. And if that test produces a negative result. The family is responsible for obtaining and presenting that negative test result. Once returning to school, the child must remain symptom free through day 14. The individual must also maintain physical distancing and masking at all times. For classrooms where masking is strictly adhered to as required, physical distancing of three to six feet is acceptable for return. Option four, the test to stay option. If you choose this option, your child will not need to quarantine pending negative COVID-19 test results on days one, three, five, and seven since first exposure. 
the test must be a laboratory-based PCR COVID-19 test. If you have opted your child into the SHIELD testing program, your child will be tested on arrival on days one, three, five, and seven at school after being identified as a close contact. As long as your child continues to test negative for COVID-19, they will be allowed to continue to come in person for instruction. Please note, this option is only available if both the close contact and the COVID-19 case were correctly masked as required. Also, please note, this option is not available if the close contact is a household member of the case. As in the previous two options, once returning to school, the child must remain symptom-free through day 14. The individual must also maintain physical distancing and masking at all times. For classrooms where masking is strictly adhered to as required, physical distance of three to six feet is acceptable for return. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, if you have any questions, please check our COVID-19 Q&A document located on our website or by visiting www.sd25.org slash COVID-19 QA. Thank you, and as always, we are together today to transform tomorrow.